greetings and a warm welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm delighted to have you here with us. Today is Monday, April 3rd, the Monday of Holy Week. Now let's observe a moment of silence to center our minds and hearts. Let's pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 12. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived, whom he had raised from the dead. So they prepared a dinner for Jesus there. Martha was serving, and Lazarus was among those present at the table with him. Then Mary took three quarters of a pound of expensive aromatic oil made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus. She then wiped his feet dry with her hair. Now the whole house was filled with the fragrance of the perfumed oil. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was going to betray him, said, Why wasn't this oil sold for 300 silver coins and the money given to the poor? Now, Judas said this not because he was concerned about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money box, he used to steal what was put into it. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. She has kept it for the day of my burial. For you will always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. Now, a large crowd of Judeans learned that Jesus was there, and so they came not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to kill Lazarus too, for on account of him, many of the Jewish people from Jerusalem were going away and believing in Jesus. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Having immersed ourselves in the word of God, let us now come together in prayer. If you feel inclined, I invite you to join me in praying out loud. There's great value in lifting our voices in unison to the Lord. Thanks to technology, we can connect and be unified in the power of the Spirit, despite the physical distance between us. With that in mind, let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, 
your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace, we pray to you, O Lord, have mercy. For candidates for baptism and confirmation, that they may live by every word that proceeds from your mouth, we pray to you, O Lord, have mercy. For the sick in body, mind, and spirit, that they may know your power to heal, we pray to you, O Lord, have mercy. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face, we pray to you, O Lord, have mercy. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. That concludes our time together. Thank you for taking a few moments to join us today. We hope it's been a source of blessing for you. If you enjoyed this video, show us your support by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your loved ones. We also invite you to visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, where you can learn more about our ministry and make a donation to support our work. Thank you for your generosity and for being a part of our life together. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.